Hey there guys and welcome to day 2 of the Pikmin weekend. Once again we're going to the distant spring and hopefully for the last time. Cause if I manage to bring back the final two parts on this day, then we'll be ready to move on to the final trial. So yeah, lander forces, pretty sure all the creatures are still dead, so that's good. Whip out a whole bunch of blues because that's what we'll be needing. Wait, 99. There has to be a sprout somewhere. Oh, it's in the armored cannon beetles area. That one Pikmin that the armored cannon beetle killed in the previous part was a flower and that left behind a seed. Real freaking nice. Anyways, everyone there? Then let's go. Okay, we'll jump in the puddle for some nice refreshment. Because I haven't really seen Olimar shower ever since he got here. In 18 days. I mean, hell, it's a good thing he's wearing a spacesuit, otherwise he'd contaminate the entire place. Now. Now, well, the leaf pigmen are falling behind. I lost one, apparently. Oh, crap. Leave the tadpoles alone. I'm still... Oh, it's over there. Ah, screw it. We don't need this many anyway. Alright. Throw a whole bunch of them up there on that ledge. You can see the yellow... Trumpet-like part over there already. So yeah, I will get these Pikmin. 26 should more than do it. And toss them over there. Fifteen is already enough. Come on, boys. Get me that part. Well, twenty-two works. Come on, you don't need to go along. And then we'll use these to get the other one. Which is right here and no real enemies nearby. Except this is a pretty complicated puzzle with the candy pop buds. Because it's too high up to throw. And you can bring yellows here. So yeah. Crap, why am I not throwing them on? Come on. Get up there. Don't know how many of them I need. But we'll just throw them on there anyway. Crap. Need to take a bit more distance. Come on, guys, get on there. It's time for you to undergo a race change. If that's even possible. And there we go, get up there. Stop falling off the ledge. And get over here. Okay, I can't swarm him into it, so it looks like I'll have to throw him. Uh, yeah, come on. Everyone, don't fall off now. Okay, there we go. Seeds. Poor Pikmin. Oh, hey. The mysterious horn-looking part is back in the ship. There we go. Number 2 Ionium Jet. The ads for these jets boast that with excellent mileage and easy on the family budget, this jet will keep your wife smiling and propel you to a happy home life. Sounds like typical sales talk. Anyways, only one more part. Hell yeah, we're getting really close to the end. And the plant just keeps spitting out pigment seeds. Kind of a weird flower thing. Okay, but still not enough. Fine then. Come on, get up there. Uh, why do they never ever cooperate? Come on, you lot. And you. Just get up there. I think that'll do. Alright, now come with me. 
And is that it? Nope, still not enough. Well then, looks like you'll have to transform as well. And you can go over there. Alright, and we're gonna have to do lots of plick plucking. Okay, it spits out more seeds. And then it wilts and dies. Okay. Well, now we'll need to start throwing these yellows over to the shoreline here. So I'm just gonna put some blues all over the place as some sort of lifeguards. So you will. Because blues have the tendency to throw other Pikmin back on the shore if they're drowning nearby. So yeah, and because these yellows tend to drown as you may have seen in one of the previous parts which someone also told me th that I should have handled that differently and looking back on it I probably should have done it like he said because that would have spared me like losing a couple yellows but then again someone else said he liked to see some Pikmin drown so yeah can't cater to everyone anyways this takes so long for Olimar to pick all these Pikmin sheesh just get it done okay now let's carefully edge through the oh yeah this should work as long as they just don't get near the water this should work out pretty well come on Yes. Alright. Now yellows come with me. Nope, oh, and I also got one blue. Sorry boy, don't want you here. Get back there. Alright, go and get that thing, whatever it is. Looks kind of weird. Come on, get up there. And I'll just have them carry it off, and then the blues can take over from here. Now what is it? I found my Kronos reactor. Using strange new technology, this machine is able to warp the space-time continuum and turn it into energy. I am constantly amazed at how many mysteries are locked inside the parts of my ship. In other words, Olimar does not know anything about his own spaceship. Now... Oh crap, they're drowning. And they're trying to steal the part. Don't be stupid. Come on, get out of the damn water. <sighs> Sometimes these Pikmin are so stupid. Come on, everyone squeeze into the corner. No. Oh. Damn it. I've got to find a reliable way to deal with these yellows. Just get them out of the way. Okay, this should do. Now go and get all the boys in blue. Wait. Only 20? Really? Oh, well, that's enough, I think. Yep, they'll get it moving. Sweet. Now then, gotta separate them, take these blues and stick them somewhere, put them over there, and now it's time to turn all these yellows back into the blues they once were. Although my crappy aim prevents them from landing in the freaking flower. Oh come on. There we go. Now I just start throwing them like crazy. Yeah, we can't leave these poor blues to be yellows forever. I mean, it's horrible to be a yellow Pikmin. 
Because you're always like, uh, no one likes the yellow Pikmin, they're useless, they only bomb stuff. The reds are the best fighters and they're immune to fire and the blue ones can swim. And what can the yellows do? Oh, they can carry explosive rocks that you only need to open gates. Yeah, sucks being a yellow Pikmin. That's why I'm not letting all these blue guys experience the horror for much longer, so I will turn them back into the mighty race of blues that they once were. <sighs> Sweet morning air. Okay, now I have to... I do have to go through the entire picking horror again. Unfortunately. And also, if any of the blues I chucked into that yellow flower were flower Pikmin, they're back to being regular leaf Pikmin now, so that kinda sucks as well. Like, it's not a complete transformation, it's only color and then back to leaf. Like, that's lame, dude, I want my flower Pikmin. But yeah, the final part's being carried back to the ship as we speak, so... I'd say I'm done here. Yeah. Okay, we have everyone take those guys with us. And let's go home. Come on, everyone out of the water. And there we go, the final part is back in the ship. Hooray. Now, what is it? This reactor changes permutations in the space-time continuum into pure energy. Basically, it's uh, like a big rubber band. I don't get it. I've recovered 29 parts, increasing the dolphin's capabilities. My search can now cover a wider area. There we go. Oh, it's just some hull plating. And there we go. Our ship is complete. Sweet. Now, Olimar can finally go home. Except for that one part. But let me just say this right now the final part is one of those few parts that you don't need and there's five parts you don't need and the final part is one of them and hey there's a puffy blowhog come on boy no man gets left behind that's my motto on this LP and it will be my motto when I start LPing Pikmin 2 Which some guy kindly offered to send it to me. But I already have the game, so thanks, but no thanks. Ah, oh, crap, it's another freaking swooping snitch bug. And he's stealing my Pikmin's. Oh, he's gonna pay for that. Boys, it's time to start the attack. Get the red guy back in there because he can't fight with us. And hey, what happened to the bridge? It's like halfway destroyed. And it's shrinking. What the hell? That's weird. Okay, snitch bug's dead. Carry him back. Any enemy that dares mess with our Pikmin Empire deserves to be con turned into food for our onions. And yeah, I have to go looking all over the place for the Pikmin that he's stuck in somewhere. Oh crap, the frogs are back. No, Please, not the frogs. Anything but the frogs. Let's see, where's some more? Underneath the blue onion. Oh nice, he stuck him away close to home. 99. I'm still missing one. Oh, it's over there. Over where? I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Alright then. Uh, why not go and mess with the puffy blowhog? Simply because I do not like him. Give me your big fat floating purple piece of shit. You have messed with the Pikmin Empire for long enough, and you are going to pay for your crimes. There we go. Swarm him. Pop him like a balloon. There we go. And pff, he empties and deflates. And it's raining pellets. And a lot of them. 
Sweet, let's just get that back to the onion. That'll boost my blue Pikmin count by quite a lot, I figure. Now... What else is there really for us to do here? Mm. Yeah, I don't want to take on the frogs again, because that'll only... get me angry when I don't need to be. You know what? I'll just stick the blue Pikmin back inside and call it a day. Go take a rest, boys. You've earned it. And I need heals. There we go. Alright. Freaking fire spout banked me up pretty good again. So, yeah, we have all but one part. Time to end the day. So, yesterday's been a good day. The dolphins finally completed. No, Walmart, there's no Pikmin around. No need to whistle him to bed. Just get back in your ship and blast off into the night sky. For what might be the last time. Alright then. There we go. Blast off. Sorry bugs, but we won't be returning here again. Ha ha. So yeah, that's it. No more distant spring. Day 18 at last, but a single part remains. Since I've recovered 29 of the missing parts, the dolphin's power is near capacity. In the forest depths below, I see a region where the final part must lie. Clearly, this is my final trial. My life support fails in 12 days. COURAGE! That cowardly dog. Okay. Guess we're all set for the final trial, so let's save up. And then... The Pikmin Weekend will continue with more episodes as we head for the final trial. Thanks for watching, bye bye.